Hello everyone, this is BadHell24 here, and we're in a bit of a different situation here. I am on an XP virtual machine, and the reason for that is because we're going to take a look at a couple of our malware pieces from a dev by the, from a malware creator by the name of Pankosa. So, uh, these are three pieces of malware from his live malware uh, sample uh, distribution pack on GitHub. We have a scary install, we have an AV security 2022, possibly a fake, uh, possibly a fake, a fake AV installer with a readme file. And we also have this MS, MS 073, whatever the hell this is, a safety and a non-safety uh, thing here. I'm just going to go ahead here really, really quickly. And I am going to close down the shared folder that I have here, just so that it doesn't spread to anything else here. And we're going to just go ahead and eject the virtual box additions thing. And let's get started with the first piece, first of three pieces of malware, scary installer. So I don't know what this is. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Windows cannot open the file. Okay, so it tried to play an MP4. But for some reason, couldn't? The size of the window was reset. Okay, so what happened? Okay. So it just did... something. Did... Is that all that it did? Is it like... You drop the background image. I don't think it did much. To be honest, I don't know if it did anything. Did it, like, destroy anything? Oh. Okay, so we can't modify the system here. Okay, task manager is disabled. That is... That's interesting, that task manager is disabled. I probably should have made a, uh... I think here. So what is going on? Can we run something like regedit? Okay, so we can run regedit. For some reason, it could not display the scar.mp4 file. Maybe if I just actually initialized this, let's try running it again. See, it's not even, it's not even displaying the MP4 correctly, which is weird. I don't know if this is the intended effect of Scary Installer, but I know that this probably is not the right thing. So we need to... How do I load from a snapshot here? I didn't even load from the snapshot, what the fuck? Can I revert back to? How do I revert back 
to a snapshot. I think what I have to do is I have to like log off of this snapshot and then I can revert back to the other snapshot. So we're going to restore You cannot delete the current state of the running machine. What do you mean? Cannot delete the cur current state. No. What do you mean? Okay. So I don't think that was the intended The intended behavior of that. I do not think that was the intended behavior of that thing, but we can still do something interesting here. So let's just go on to the next, uh, piece of malware that is here. I want to take a look at that AV uh, one. This fake AV security uh, one. It says to do it in a VM. So I am in a VM and we are going to see what happens when we launch this fake AV security thing. This is a readme, it's destructive, uh, of course. It's a fake AV security scanner. Uh, running in a VM on Windows XP, let's go. So, AV security 2022, DRS protection, scan the PC. Okay, scanning. We found AV security. Oh! Oh shit! Uh... Oh god. Uh... Oh fuck. I... Wow. Yeah, this is, uh... Can I even... I can't even do... Jesus Christ, that is... Flashy, I have to put like a seizure warning in the fucking... Thing right here. It can't find run DLL32, but I think you saw that there. Can't find run DLL32. Uh. 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 Help. Help me. <laughs> God. What in the fuck is this? Can I even launch the fucking something? I can. Does task manager work? I do not know what the fuck is happening. This is, this is insane. Like I've never seen a virus do this. What is even happening here? Can I restart the computer? Is it gonna allow me to restart? Restart. I clicked the restart button. Did it? Did it do anything? I don't think it did anything. <gasps> okay. So it did restart. And it's not destructive. It is. 
It is destructive. It is destructive. Uh, um. So, oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's destructive. It's destructive, alright. I mean... Wow. It's just obliterated everything. Like, for starters, nothing is here. The all program instead does not work. There's significantly less stuff here. There's a folder. I don't think we can do much uh, here. Because it looks like... Yeah, it looks like everything was wiped out here. How's System 32 looking? Uh, not good. System 32 is looking not good. It's weird though, because... That's 5 kilobytes. None of these were overwritten. It's just that they were all... The links are all destroyed. The links are all destroyed for the thing here, so I don't know what this is. Can't even, can't even launch uh, the uh, .exe file. Okay, yeah, I destroyed that. Uh, can we use this? I mean, we can, but I don't think we can use a lot of this system anymore because it's kind of fucked at this moment uh surprised that I even managed to fucking restart the computer because this computer probably should not restart unless that was a fluke oh yeah that was a fluke <laughs> uh that was a total fluke because the system is no longer booting. Awesome. That's fucking great. <laughs> that is actually fucking awesome. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. So let's not create a snapshot of that. And let's just turn on the VM again. And let's take a look at the final uh, piece of malware that I have downloaded here for y'all today. Uh, which is that weirdly named Microsoft one. So let's just look and see. What kind of shit Pankosa was cooking with this one? So, compressed MS ZSM35.6. We have the safety one and non safety one in the readme. What is this readme? Works in Windows XP 2.11. This is very dangerous for the non safety version. The non safety version will damage the game beyond and make the PC unusual. unusable. So it's a C++ GDI malware, so uh, GDI corruption malware. Um, so yeah, let's not run the safety version, let's go. So run malware, yes please. Are you sure we'll overwrite the MBR, continue? Yeah, I do, oh, file corrupted. Oh! What? You hearing this? Holy shit. It's just displaying the, th the stuff over and over again. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool. Oh! Oh shit! I can try using my computer. It's not gonna work. I mean... Wow. This simply is a GDI corruption malware. Holy shit, this is tanking my CPU. Even though this is an event, whoa. Okay, we got a bouncing ball. Uh, I can't see anything. Yeah, I can't do anything. Everything that I do just gets destroyed into the void. Ah, oh, I can kind of see what's going on here. <sighs> That's cool. Okay, this is definitely taking my FPS here. It's an encoding overload. This is actually overloading my encoding here. Uh. I hope nothing that happens here. Okay. There is no mercy. Named after MS0725. Dude, I'm just gonna let this go. Holy shit. I can like clear it out a little bit. But it just goes right back to being a mess. I can still see this, which is interesting. Okay, now I can't even see anything, okay? I mean, I can, I can open and close the uh, start menu. But I don't think that's gonna do anything. Everything to lag. Wow. Wow. Uh. Yeah, I can't even choose anything. Whoa, there is no mercy. There is no. <laughs> yeah, Rick PC is right, bro. RIP PC is fucking right, dude. Holy shit. This is actually just destroying the entire computer. I don't- I don't know if I can even do anything here. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna try turning off the computer. Or restarting the computer. Did that work? Oh, it just crashed. The VM just crashed. It didn't even, like, power down. It just straight up crashed. There it is. There is what the VM has been reduced to. Just a just a photo. That is literally all that the VM has been reduced to. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Well, that is interesting.
Reusing the machine won't do anything, because it will just display this. Wow, okay, so that was three pieces of malware from Pankosa. Uh, very, very interesting um, malware samples that I grabbed here. Uh, if you guys want more of this, let me know, and I may do a live stream where I just download a bunch of this kind of, like, malware stuff and just try to fuck around with it. But, yeah. Uh. Cool. Cool and good. Uh, now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna delete those from my computer so that I don't accidentally launch them on this shit. Goodbye, for now.